Good afternoon, the 24th of January. Today is Tuesday. I didn't record anything yesterday. Uh, I trained some clients and my plan was to go with a bicycle to the studio and then do my session, but it was icy, it was cold. I came back, I didn't do any session as cycling, but I did a workout at the gym. So now I'm about to jump in the bike. Today I was training with Kevin. We did a session in the studio. He's enjoying it, I am enjoying it to train my brother and the best news is tomorrow I will train Raphael, my older brother and Kevin, both of them at the same time. That for me means a lot. So let's go. Cycling is done. I'm just getting myself ready to go for a run. So the running would be on threshold and then finally get home, eat and rest. I'm back, I'm back from running, you know, I feel like I want to cry. Uh, it's difficult, it's hard, the routine is getting a lot, of busy, a lot busy with PT. I still work in the care environment, but it's difficult to get my sessions in. And sometimes I skip one day and I try to do both at the same time and happens what just happened now. Exhausted, tired, but if I want to improve, that's the only way. I only got 24 hours, so I need to train when I've got availability. I'm gonna eat and rest and see you tomorrow. But I'm planning to take John this weekend, either for a coffee or lunch out. So I will see, I will see how, how he is on Saturday. Bye for now. Just finished my session. I'm not feeling it today. I'm feeling very lonely on this challenge. Yeah, there's 100 people clapping by the end of the day. It's just me against me. No one understand how the way I feel and what I want to achieve. 30 minutes done, recovery, cycling and rollers, off to bed. Good morning. Yesterday, after my session, I was really upset, angry. It was late, I had to do my 30 minutes of recovery. And this morning is I need the car, so she came. And she's in the gym with me and I do 45 set, uh, minutes of a session and then I'm off to work. Good morning, today is Friday. Okay, yesterday I ended up doing my base run. It was about 42 minutes. Here we are. It was a very difficult run because I had to work in the morning, a few clients in the afternoon, and it was cold, but I had to get out, I had to do mine. If I don't go out and do my session, no one's gonna go out and do it for me. If I don't go out, and do what I need to do, I'm not gonna improve, I'm not gonna beat my personal best in a half marathon. So yeah, the same way that I ask for my clients to give their best is, I try to give my best as well. So okay, uh, right now it's 7.15 in the morning, I'm gonna do my session. Eight o'clock I train my brother, at nine I train Sophie. Sophie is trying to get uh, one of the challenge that we decided to do to get her where she needs to be for the half marathon in March. So she will do uh, 11K under 54 minutes. Well, time to get my session done and start the day.
Good morning. Today is Saturday, 28th. Um, yesterday, Friday, I did a run with Sophie, okay, in the morning after I trained my brother. She beat her best 5k, best 10k, and we had a time set for 11k. 56 minutes and 43 seconds. It was amazing. Sophie has improved so much. I remember in the beginning she couldn't run 5k in less than 30 minutes now she's doing on 25 something amazing so in the evening i went to the to the street with the church to give food to the homeless people and tell you what yesterday but I, I was just talking to them and and trying to understand what are their struggles why they cannot stop uh, their addictions and what they're going through and what, how much they have to pay for the rooms and how they get their money and yeah it was it was nice to try to understand and i also invited one of the guys to to go to the church tonight so i'm gonna send him a message and see if he comes along that would be amazing because i think it's not me trying to you know convince people to come to my religion it's just only one god and he is able to change and transform anything i am a example so in, in my vision is if one day one of them come along and they get, and they go out feeling they can they can get back in life working and and leaving drugs behind but like even goosebumps i get thinking about it because i've been in that position i never i've never been in a in the street but i've been addicted to drugs and alcohol and other stuff so well hopefully hopefully he replies i will go and pick him up i will take him to the church i drop him, drop him back wherever he needs to be dropped but i've got faith i've got faith that they, they they can change their lives as well the way i did with mine right let's go i'm trying to do two hours cycling indoors am i gonna get two hours done i don't know it's gonna be difficult two hours sat in between that door frame is a long time but i've got some plans i might watch something on on the computer on the tv i have to do something otherwise i go crazy in it yes and that is my saturday let's go it was one hour and 45 minutes oh, of the session i didn't do two hours because i'm going for a coffee 